Okay, so this might be my most ambitious painting yet. Basically, I found this photo on Pinterest. Like, I was digging deep for Filipina references, and I decided to take inspiration from it. And in the photo, she's kind of sitting down, like in a stool or something. But I decided to challenge myself and make her sit in a Salihia chair. We actually have two Salihia chairs in our house, and they're both key parts in our living room. And I see them every day, and I remember using these two chairs in my thesis, in my dear design thesis. And I also specifically remember not being able to draw them properly, so I don't know what came over me when I decided to put it in this painting, but um, challenge accepted, I guess. And yeah, this painting might take a while, like I know it's going to take a while because I want it to be super detailed, like I want the weaves of the Solikia to be really detailed and I want the wood to be really detailed and all the flowers and I just want this painting to be really good and I hope it does turn out good and yeah, I'm going to be exerting so much effort in this one and I hope it all turns out good. By the way, I had a really hard time sketching everything because of the proportions, like I'm really not good at proportions. Like, I had to erase a lot of things and draw them over. And I got really frustrated, but you know, that's part of the process. Keep on watching! La mer. La mer. La mer. On va danser le long des golfes. On va danser le long des golfes. On va danser le long des golfes. On va danser. Le long des golfes. La mer. La mer. La mer. La mer. So before I start painting again, my mom bought these drawers from India yesterday because she's tired of seeing this little crap scattered in the living room. I actually don't have a studio. I just literally have this basket and my easel in the corner of our living room and that's basically my studio. And every time she sees this, she scolds me for it because it's so messy. So she bought these yesterday and um, yeah. We're going to declutter first and fix every time. Oh! Oh my god. Okay, so these are the drawers. This is what they look like. I'm going to stack them in the corner, like where I um, place my stuff. So, we're going to start with the brushes, I guess. Some of the brushes are still um, drying up because I used them yesterday, so let's get into it. A lot of these brushes I don't use, so I think this is the perfect opportunity to like get rid of them. Because this, this is rock solid, man. You can't paint with that shit. So I'm literally just checking if they can still be used. Okay, so these are all the brushes that I don't use. This is why this is necessary because there's a lot I don't use anymore. So we're going to throw that away unfortunately. I have to really take care of my brushes. But this is what's left, plus um, the ones that I'm currently using that are drying. I'm just gonna go get that. 
I think I need an organizer. Like I, I think I need one in here because this is just going to look chaotic. Okay, so that's the brush drawer down. Now we proceed with the big drawer, which is all the paint. Um, I hope this fits. Oh, kind of fits. Okay. I recently decluttered this, so this is good. I put it in. I'm putting it directly on here, like so. And this is the nightmare. Let's save this for last. I don't want to touch that old container for thinner, which is it smells really bad. Ugh. That sucks. Okay. And look at all the fabric paint I don't use. So all of these are going to go because they are hard as a rock. Yeah, these are definitely dried up. Okay, so time to clean the oil paint. which I think should fit. Yeah, it fits perfectly. So I'm just going to put the oil paint I do use in here and then throw out the rest because they are absolutely gross. There we go. There we go. There we go. We are done. Now that is much more organized than that horrible basket so we're going to throw all of these away i'm sorry paint i didn't take care of you so sorry yeah yay okay let me just show you what i did so all of the brushes are in here but i'm debating if i should um have like little cubbies for this like a little organizer maybe here and then I have the rags here because they don't fit <laughs> down there anymore. And then we have the palettes are too big, so they're up there. Then we have here, um, this is the palette for acrylic. This is the palette for oil. The plan is I'm going to buy another one of these ones on top and put these there, like on top. And then we have here below are the acrylic paints. That's so dirty. I'm sorry, Tupperware is so dirty. <laughs> I might buy a new Tupperware for this. And then we have the oil paints here. They're so dirty. Sorry. And then we have the watercolor um, washing water. <laughs> watercolor washing water, acrylic. And then where I put the thinner for oil. Then we have here paint thinner, the big white Windsor paint that surprisingly it hasn't been halfway through it wow that's a trooper and we have all the uh, covers I use which are garbage bags and yeah there we go I'm just I need another drawer for these because I only use one palette at a time so I don't want to keep uh, removing these to get to my paint so we're going to have to buy another drawer there we go for the meantime, that's that. Yay! That's much cleaner than this ugly basket. Yay! Okay, so quick update on my art material storage. I finally bought another one. So first tier are the brushes and palette knives. And then the second drawer are my palettes and my rags and my cleaning sponge. And on the third and biggest drawer are my acrylic paints, my oil paints, my thinner, my paint thinner. And then I have these um, topperwares that I use for water or for turpentine. And yeah, there we go. Wait, more close. 
Ta-da! So organized. So nice. Yay! Vous m'offrez un verre? Si vous voulez. Pourquoi vous lisez? C'est mon métier. C'est drôle. Tout à coup, je ne sais pas quoi dire. Okay, so quick update on the painting. I have done all of the first layers for the flowers, so I'm going to resume that today. Um, I took kind of a week off because it's been crazy preparing for graduation, and then we went to Baguio last weekend, and yeah, I haven't really gotten to finishing it, so hopefully I can finish it next week. I'm betting that I can finish it next week. Hopefully, I could. <laughs> Okay, so I finally finished the painting. I did like the embroidery detail for like four hours straight and I'm now tired and it is now almost dark so I can't shoot the whole thing. So I'm going to be doing that tomorrow and yeah. So I just finished shooting the painting outside and I think this is by far the hardest one I've done yet. Yeah, I'm so happy with how it turned out. Like she's so beautiful. There were so many details that I worked on and put a lot of hours to. So that paid off and yeah, I really really love this one. I think it's the best one yet, I think. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And turn on the notifications bell thing to know when I'm going to post the next art vlog. See ya!